Hi, I'm Nina McVeigh. And I'm Jennifer Jiggis. And today what we want to share with you are some alternative edge treatments for projects where a traditional bound edge is maybe just not really appropriate, such as this lovely scrapbook type page. Well, whether you're doing this type of project, a scrapbook page, mm -hmm. or even an art quilt, uh, t traditional binding just might look a little out of place. Yeah, a little heavy for this type of a project. So I have three really fun alternative edging techniques. For the first project, I'm going to use the number 20 foot because of the visibility and because of this very large cutout on the back of it. This is a tight satin stitch and I want that to move through my machine very easily. I've threaded my machine with an embroidery thread because I want the sheen of embroidery thread on the edge of this project. And I'm going to put this under the foot so the raw edge is just inside the right toe of the foot. I want the needle to fall off the edge of my fabric. That will make the neatest edge. And you're just going to continue around your project neatening that raw edge with a decorative stitch. The second technique I want to show you is this edging done with yarn, and it's almost reversible. Uh, this would be such a great finish for a garment type project as well as a quilting project. Yes, it would, and I see this edging done on a needle punch project. Oh, it would be beautiful. I'm going to take this to the machine, and I am going to lay three strands of worsted weight yarn right on the edge of my fabric. I'm using three strands of this yarn because it fills the opening in the number 20 foot. Once I have those strands under the foot, I'm going to select my honeycomb stitch. I'm going to keep my yarn right on the edge of my fabric and let that honeycomb stitch hold it down. Now remember we said this almost looks reversible. So I'm actually going to be doing this on both sides of the fabric. So I start with the wrong side of the fabric first. This is such a simple technique that really yields impressive results. It does. It looks like the fold over braid that you might purchase to finish a, a wool exactly. edge. Exactly. When I finish this side, I'm going to take it out of the machine and just cut my yarn off there, turn it over, and do exactly the same thing on this side, which is now the right side of my piece. So you can see it really is a, uh, a technique that looks the same on the back as the front. For the final alternative edge treatment, I've actually used the bias binder. I've just kind of decorated it a little bit with cording. Now we've used the bias binder in previous shorts like this, so uh, that information is available to you, but on this one I'm going to add a cording. I love this, and depending on the type of cord that you use, you could have something that's a very contemporary look or a very mm -hmm. soft and um, heirloom type effect mm -hmm. as well. This is very cool. To get started, I've attached the bias binder to the machine, and I'm using my number 94 foot. Instead of a straight stitch as we traditionally see with the bias binding, I'm using a zigzag stitch so that I'm going to catch the cord with the zigzag stitch. Because that cord is sitting way over to the left side, I need to move my needle to the left. So it's going to go over the cord as I bind my piece. So you're combining a bound edge with a couched edge all in one step. All in one step. Not only is it very unique, but it's also a real time saver too. Well, and it adds that pop of color you might need to a piece. So now that I've bound that side, I can take it out and show you that it just adds that just extra pop on that edge. You know, I'm not sure which of these is my favorite. I love all three techniques. They are all fun and easy to do. For these type of techniques, visit your local Bernina dealer today.